uh, Mr. Manikanta, hearty congratulations on securing All India Rank 7 in Civil Engineering Branch in ESC 2021. Yes, sir. Thanks. Thanks a lot, sir. Uh, Manikanta, after securing this uh, single digit rank in ESC, uh, how do you feel now? So actually, I didn't expect to be in like top 10. Uh, I had hopes to be my name in the list, but definitely like securing seventh rank is so happy for me. And that too in the first attempt. Yeah, no, we are also very happy, Manikanta. Uh, yes, Manikanta, sir. please tell us uh, what type of coaching programs that you have availed from our AC Engineering Academy? So basically, it starts from the uh, ESC test series for prelims. And that continued for mains coaching as well as test series and included with the uh, uh, interview guidance program. Right. So you have also taken the mains uh, live classes also, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Good. Mani, uh, this coaching program like uh, mains live classes and this uh, postal coaching, uh, to what extent they helped you in your uh, success? So mostly for engineering services, uh, practice is more important. So the coaching institute, uh, the type of problems are really helpful for me, helped me a lot, especially in the main batch uh, or test series. Test series is very important. Okay. And uh, so it seems you had some postal coaching also with us, right? Yes, sir. So, so how was that material? Yes, yes, exactly. that kind of material? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Like problems mainly. I focus yeah. more on problems. Problems are more important for exams. Okay, good. Uh, Manikanta, can you tell us uh, your educational background, your college, which year did you pass out? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I have done my schooling in my hometown itself. And later, uh, I have studied uh, civil engineering at uh, National Institute of Technology, Varangal. Graduated in the year 2019. And I started my preparations in the March 2020 around, and now okay. I have secured this. Sir. Okay, so you are a, a NIT Varangal student. Yes, sir. 2019 graduate. Yeah. Which place are you from? Uh, I am from Narsampet uh, in Varangal district. Narsampet, Varangal district of Telangana state. Telangana state. Yes. Uh, right. Uh, Manikanta, it said uh, it is said that uh, you passed out in 2019. Yes, sir. Uh, after that, what you have done? Uh, I have secured a placement in my college during my final year. Uh, later, I resigned to completely focus on my preparations. Okay. I worked there for a graduate engineer trainee for eight months. That's fine, uh, Mr. Manikanta. So for this engineering service examination, uh, uh, is it, first of all, let, us, uh, no, let me know that. Uh, is it your first attempt or second attempt? It is first attempt. Very first attempt getting seventh rank. Very good, uh, Manikanta. I once again congratulate you. So, for this uh, yes. ESC preparation after quitting your job, seriously, how many months of time that you have prepared, uh, Mr. Mani? Uh, it comes to around like one and a half year. It's not like uh, for prelims itself, it, I took around like one year. Uh, this time, due to COVID pandemic, the exams were uh, postponed largely. Later, for mains preparations again for three four months preparation so around like one and a half to one and a half year so one and a half uh, year of time the serious preparation towards this yes sir. yes yes good money up to prelims examination so did you focus only on the prelims uh, type of questions like objective otherwise apart from the prelims type of questions did you also focus something on your mains preparation so it actually depends on the type of subject. For example, like strength of materials and structure analysis, uh, it's better not to go deep into the big problems. The questions were completely different from the prelims and mains point of view. And when we see from the like other subjects like RCC, where mostly the designs, we should uh, be going into the detailed uh, part. So it depends on subject to subject. Yeah, I think I just want to add, even if you take environment engineering, engineering mm -hmm. also so you can see some questions which are gate type of questions you can also yes, see in the yes. ESC papers yes sir, exactly. so you can do a preparation right yes sir. prelims means commonly also okay that's fine uh, mr manikanta after prelims examination was over what did you do exactly you said that you availed our uh, mains live classes for the mains examination 
right? Yes. Sir. So what the extra that you have prepared after the prelims examination? So basically, uh, by the time prelims has completed, we will be having an idea over all the concepts. So there is no need for fresh division of concepts. It's mainly the practicing different kinds of problems. So mostly uh, the cl uh, classroom problems, test series problems, and most important is previous year problems. So these are the areas I focused. Right. Because I already had the foundation before the prelims. Yes, sir. yes. Sir. So after prelims examination, you mainly focused on the problems, right? Problems, yes. Right. Good. Now, how many times you would have solved this previous year's question, Matt? Uh, I can say that my strategy was like, there are a lot number of questions as we can see. So I categorized the problems, like important ones and non-important ones. So those which are like uh, tricky ones or difficult ones, I mark them and I'm revised frequently like monthly ones or uh, two months or once in a two months like that. So I can say like two times. Okay. Uh, Manikanta, one point, uh, let me ask this question. If you see this uh, uh, subjects like uh, geology, airport engineering, tunnel engineering, yes. uh, docks and harbors, railway mm. engineering, these topics uh, do not have much weightage in this uh, examination. Yes, so, sir. Did you go selectively? Otherwise, you have covered uh, in detail these subjects also. Uh, actually, covering in detailing of these subjects is not recommended as per my point of view, because the type of questions can be from anywhere. But it is also not recommended to leave these subjects as completely, which is better to have a basic idea. For example, in airports, we could see that runway length problem that is asked in many areas. So it's very important to have a basic idea on these subjects. Yes. So that basic idea you will get automatically if you refer to the previous question. Yes. Yes, exactly. So these topics are highly recommended to go selectively. Yes, sir. That's what you also did, isn't it? Yes, yes, sir. Good. Uh, Manikanta, uh, this mains examination you have to give in the QCA booklet format. Yes, sir. And also the time management, selection of questions, the speed and accuracy are the some of the parameters that you have to focus there. Yes, sir. So while preparing for the mains examination, how do you focus on these aspects? Uh, yes, uh, initially, like uh, in the first one or two tests, I would be taking like more than three hours for completing the questions. But later on, with uh, just by practicing, the practicing is only the way to cater for the speed and accuracy is also important because the questions are of uh, high weightage, like 20 marks question, 10 marks questions. So practice as well as speed, uh, maintaining accuracy, these are the two key points to be focused. Right. And uh, on the day of the mains examination, and mm. for mains examination, let me go back to the prelims examination. In the prelims examination, we have two papers. One is a technical paper, other one is a GS paper. In yes, the GS, sir. again, there are 10 topics, like a current affairs, yes, ethics, engineering, drawing, mathematics, quality management, yes, standards and quality, like this. Do you focus on all the 10 topics on the 10 topics uh, equally? Otherwise, you have made any selective preparation on this. Uh, if I could uh, weigh the GS as well as technical, technical is more important definitely. And in the GS part, if we could see the subjects like mathematics and aptitude, these are very much scoring and important. And later, the other subjects, uh, for few selective subjects to be prepared, like uh, so depth in knowledge, and a uh, few others, we can have a basic idea. For example, current affairs, it's very impossible to remind of all the affairs, and we don't know what type of questions are being asked. And particularly in uh, engineering services 2021 GS paper, around like 18 questions were asked from very different corners. So I could say that uh, the best one would be in a day to day preparation, uh, a lot, at least like two hours for GS and remaining for technical. That would be a better one. Okay. But how would you prepare these topics like ethics and ICT, these topics? So these topics. Uh, uh, I got more help from the test series itself. Okay. Right. Uh, while preparing for the prelims examination, you said two hours you used to spend on the GS part, remaining on the technical, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And moreover, in the prelims, uh, uh, some questions are uh, involving the small, small numericals. 
Did you hmm. practice uh, anything to tackle this type of numerical questions that you have to solve without using the calculator? Uh, yes, sir. Some tricks to be uh, researched on for computing the multiplications faster. And uh, the ability to guess the answer is also an important uh, technique to be learned. We do not want to go to the deep or accurate answer. If we could get anything near to the uh, any option, so we can go directly. Right. So many toppers say that uh, practice and revision are the key factors in this. Yes, yes, definitely, sir. Yeah. So to do the revision, so did you prepare any short notes as such? So my personal, this is my personal point of view. The I don't like short notes. Because for exams like engineering services, we need to focus on every point. There is nothing like important or not important. So if we prepare short notes, that would be again one more notes and we would lose the minor details on the concepts. So what I did is I have followed my original uh, normal notes itself. And uh, uh, there are some areas which we frequently forget, for example, like uh, formulas. For example, in irrigation, we have this uh, Lacey and Kennedy formulas, a list of formulas are there. Yes, so these kind of the semi -empirical huh, formula. yes empirical formulas are very difficult to remember so what i do is uh, i prepared something like formula notes only formulas and that too which i frequently forget for example in soil mechanics the basic formulas are there like wg is equals to es so these kind of formulas are no need to be written in that only important ones so they call a micro notes okay so basically formula yes formula notes is important so whenever you do that revision work Hmm. How you to carry on that? Because many students they struggle in this part, in this portion only. They have psychological feeling that revision means that it takes a lot of time. So how to minimize that revision time? What you had done actually in your case? So that is that what the elimination of short notes and you introduce the formula notes because formulas and data which we forget, that would be short and easy to revise also. And at the time of learning itself, uh, we should have a clear uh, idea or clarity on the concept. So these two are the steps. And moreover, in the, in the short notes itself, you can underline, you can highlight some points which you want to revise. Ah, definitely. Now and then. There yes, are yes, other yes. also you can follow. Yes, yes. So, so basically what short notes means most people do is uh, they will just uh, write all the important or everything important and to one notes that would be around like 300 pages or some 200, 300 pages. That would be very difficult to revise. Okay. Manikanta, on an average, how many hours you used to prepare daily? Uh, I could say that it varies, but around like 10 hours. 10 hours. Effectively, it would be like 7 to 8 hours. Effectively. 7 to 8 hours. Because you have to give some regular intervals, some small yes, yes. break. In the break time, hmm. what you used to do to relax? Uh, I used to like uh, surf some internet or talk to other people, watching television, like that. Hmm. Whatever it comes. But to divert your mind. Yes, sir. Okay. Right. Uh, on the day of the actual mains examination, Manikanta, uh, because you have two papers, three hours, three hours, right, conventional questions. Um, what was your actual strategy on the day of the actual examination? So the main key point is whatever the impact has been created on you due to paper one, that should not be carried on paper two, which is the most important one. This time, if you could see in prelims as well as mains, the GS paper was unexpected and the uh, technical paper was quite easy. So the impact should not be carried on. And similarly in the mains also, paper one, there were something like a detailed uh, answers, like lengthy answers for the difficult paper. So overall it was, uh, and paper two is also a simple paper comparatively. So I think I scored uh, mostly on paper two as a good attempt than paper one. Okay. Uh, did, you attend, uh, did you attempt all the five questions in each paper? Uh, yes, sir. Definitely, that's important. Okay, you could attempt uh, five questions in yes. each paper. Yes. Sir. Okay, good. Uh, in the two conventional papers, approximately how many marks you, you, should, you would have scored? Approximately. Uh, I guess it will be definitely more than 400, good. maybe around 420 or 430. I don't know. Right. Good. Uh, Manikanta, uh, regarding this uh, interview, uh, do you remember uh, any one or two? interesting questions that you have been asked in the interview uh yes sir i bought some uh, native places about locality places and some general questions like uh, what are you doing currently what did you do of the btech 
uh, why did you leave your job like that questions are very much important okay out of the total question that you were asked approximately how much percentage of the questions you have answered satisfactorily uh, i could say that my interview was on average scale i could say like around 50% i answered oh. that was a very bad number but still i think my but interview... you could make it a final uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. Rank wins. Uh, <laughs> yes sir probably you would have scored a very good marks in the written examination uh, anyway maybe your I interview marks are yet i'm waiting to be, for yes yes to yes, be yes. known right yes i'm very much yeah curious about... yeah. good manikanta hello manikanta from your successful experience yeah, yes sir right like, uh, you got a seventh rank in the very first attempt so from this experience can you please share some useful tips to the other aspirants of this same examination in general and civilian students in particular yes sir in general uh, we should limit our sources of uh, knowledge like do not follow too many books because it, this is a competitive exam uh so we must limit ourselves we should put boundaries on the subject uh, syllabus that is one important thing the second one is frequent revision and the third one is more practice okay so for civil engineers any specific uh, advice uh yes sir definitely uh for civil engineers i could say that uh, at least have some uh, subjects in command in paper 1 and paper 2 for example in paper 1 uh, strength of materials and structure analysis where the subjects with more people would uh, would have their interest and paper 2 like uh, soil mechanics or uh, environmental engineering these are high weightage so focus more on them good good manikanta uh, yes sir. what is your first choice of department So it is a uh, civil engineering, uh, Central Public Works Department, CPWT. CPWT, right? Yes. So hopefully you will get with this seventh rank. Yes, sir. Sure. Uh, I once again congratulate you, Mr. Manikanta. Uh, Thank you, sir. Before we close this interview, may I know about your family background? What are your parents? Uh, my father is a retail merchant, like a formal shop, and my mother is a homemaker. Oh. So and my brother has been is... very supportive too, right? Yes, sir, definitely. And most of my preparation was in home itself, so it's very difficult for aspirants uh, to carry the preparation in the home because so many disturbances would be there, definitely. But uh, I have managed all those things. Good. So you convey our wishes you. to your parents also. Yes, and definitely. Your, uh, friends who are part of your success. Yes, sir. So I once again congratulate you. Thank you for sharing your valuable thoughts with us. Uh, wish you all good luck in all your future attempts. Yes sir thank you